Mm. Oh my god. So good. Hit a little bag. Hit it with the bag. Yeah. Put it on the tab. Don't know how to act. How you like that? How you like that? She a little bad. It's a little. Okay, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss out on an upload from me. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much family for showing love. I see you and I appreciate it 100%. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you three healthy meal ideas all prepared in the air fryer. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to be adding a little bit of Maggie all-purpose seasoning. Put a little bit in there. And remember guys, these wings are pat washed and pat dried. I'm gonna put in a little bit of a garlic powder. Some onion powder. And you know we don't work with measurements over here. We do it to your taste buds, okay guys? So add as much as you like, as much season as you like according to your taste buds. And we're gonna go in with some baking powder just to make those wings a little extra crispy. And we'll be adding some Walker's Wood Traditional Jamaican Jerk Seasoning, hot and spicy. All right, we'll just add a dollop of that in there. So it's been a little over one hour since my chicken was marinating in the refrigerator. So I just took that out so it can come down to room temperature before placing it into the air fryer. A quick tip for easier cleanup is to just place some foil in the bottom of your air fryer. And additionally, I usually cut up some parchment paper to put in the bottom of the basket for easier cleanup as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add my chicken into the basket and place them into the air fryer. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and add our wings. We're going to put that on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. At the 10 minute mark, we're going to go ahead and flip our wings. So guys, it's been about 10 minutes, so let's check on our wings. Ooh, they are looking lovely. All right, so we're gonna use this time to go ahead and give them a flip. And back in for our next 10 minutes. Air fryer, and here is what it looks like when I'm plating. Ah, oh, these are so Oh man. Oh my god, guys. Look at these wings. Let me tell you, they were delicious. You have to give them a try. Mmm. All right, guys, for this next recipe, I'm going to start with my broccoli. I'm just going to cut up some florets into little pieces. Then I'm going to add them into a Ziploc bag and give them a generous amount of olive oil followed by some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Give that all a good toss and then place them into the air fryer. We're going to go ahead and add that into our air fryer. We're going to put that at 400 degrees for 10 minutes at the five minute interval. You're going to go ahead and check your air fryer. And then if you feel like it's done in this to your likeness, you can take it out. If not, give it another five minutes. 
All right, guys, while we're waiting on our broccoli to roast up, we're going to go ahead and start on our corn. I'm just adding a little bit of salt and black pepper to my corn, followed by some melted butter. I'm just going to wrap those up and have those aside for when the broccoli is finished to put those in. Okay, guys, so it's been about five minutes since my broccoli has been in. And here's what it looks like. I think that is roasted enough for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. I'm just going to put a little bit of regular all Maggie all-purpose seasoning, just a little bit, followed by some onion powder, some garlic powder, And of course, your lemon pepper seasoning of your choice. All right, just get that in there. Get all of that season for both sides. All right, get that nice and seasoned. All right, guys, so we put the corn in earlier. It's time to remove the corn. Just gonna put it aside so that it can cool down. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some lemon slices in there. Then I'm just going to place my salmon on top of those. Like so. Just added a little bit of butter to my salmon and place it in the air fryer. I'm going to go ahead and add my fish in. I'm setting it for 400 degrees for 10 minutes. At five minutes, I'll check on it and then we'll see how it's going. All right, guys, so our salmon is finished. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, let's go ahead and add that to the plate. All right, so our corn should be cooled now. I'm just going to go ahead and take that out of the foil. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That looks delicious. Woo. Uh, oh, there you have it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Lemon pepper salmon with broccoli and roasted buttered corn look at that guys <laughs> tell me that that does not look delicious come on guys a nice a healthy meal in under an hour uh first i'm going to have two red potatoes you can get the smaller red potatoes if you want or any potatoes of your choice because we are going to make a delicious seafood boil oh yes in the air fryer so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut my potatoes up into small pieces all right once i have done that i'm just gonna add them into a bowl like so all right then we're going to just add some saran wrap over our plate like this. all right and we're going to put these in the microwave for approximately three to four minutes before we get our seafood boil ready all right guys, so while we're waiting on our potatoes to finish in the microwave, we're gonna go ahead and make us a nice seafood sauce. So I'm gonna add some melted butter. Some Cajun seasoning. Some Old Bay seasoning. some garlic powder and 
onion powder. And I'm gonna be adding this Calypso pepper sauce that I have, but you can use any hot sauce that you have on hand. I'm not gonna use too much because it is really spicy. And go ahead and just give that a nice mix. And let's check on our potatoes. Hey guys, be careful when you're taking your potatoes out of the microwave because they are extremely hot, okay? All right, be careful the steam doesn't burn you. All right, let's take that away. And this is our potatoes. They're half cooked, but they'll finish cooking in the air fryer. Now it's time to get our packets ready. All right guys, so it's time to assemble our packets. I'm actually going to be making two packets. What I'm going to do is add my ingredients into a Ziploc bag, and then I'm going to add half of the sauce that you see us made earlier into the bag and mix that all together and add the other half of the sauce on top of the ingredients before we wrap it up and place it in the air fryer. In addition, I'll be adding some chopped white onions and garlic to the mixture as well. So it was at this point that I totally forgot to add my corn into the mixture. So now you'll see me just adding my corn into the Ziploc bag, trying to soak up a little bit more of that sauce before adding it to the rest of ingredients. Right, guys so we're just gonna add our packet into the air fryer just like so place it in we're gonna do 400 degrees for 20 minutes hey guys so it's been 20 minutes so we're going to take our packet seafood boil out of the air fryer and we're going to plate this all right guys let's go ahead and open our packet up Ooh. Ooh. Remember to be careful. Oh my god, guys. Ooh, look at that boil. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's fogging up the camera. It's so good. Look at this, guys. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> Time to grub in because this is so delicious. Hi guys. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. This lemon pepper salmon. Mmm. And the seafood boil. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, please give these recipes a try. All of them take you no longer than one hour. One hour, guys, what do you have to lose? And all of them are great. 
Okay, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Show your girls some love. Until next time, bye.